another little tattoo. I'll do it today. Well, listen, if you are DJ Ponzi, a.k.a. DJ Envy, baby, you doing everything you can. You up there doing the robot in front of the federal prosecutors, trying to make sure, literally, he pop, pop, lock, and drop it. He's doing everything he can to make sure that he doesn't go away like Caesar Pina looks like. He has flipped on Caesar. Not only that, he is playing the victim role. Baby, what's it? What are you talking about? Caesar defrauded all of us. To which everybody was like, boy, we got your face all up and down YouTube, waving stacks of money and showing us all the money you're making. But get this, why is he flipping? Well, one, he don't want to go to, you know, the big house. But two, it looks like he might be being fired from the breakfast club. We are going to go legal analysis because there's been so many conflicting reports. People being like, what DJ Envy did don't have anything to do with iHeart. If he becomes a liability to iHeart, but baby, he's a liability to iHeart right now. We are going to go into vicarious liability. And we're also going to talk about whether employers can be held liable for the fraudulent actions of their employees and baby. It looks like DJ Envy fits the bill, but it's not over. It looks like iHeart knew this was coming round the mountain because three days ago, which is around the time that DJ uh, uh, Envy should have cut that deal, iHeart literally put an ad up for a co-host. They are not playing. But here's the thing, right? DJ Envy thinks he's slick, okay? But iHeart knows something he doesn't know. See, DJ Envy, maybe, if you what you offer them as information is truthful because here's the thing dj envy's lawyer is a little little trickster like dj envy you gotta listen to his words dj envy's lawyer said of course envy's cooperating however he did not say that envy has cut a deal yet envy is willing to chirp, 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 chirp seem like a canary, which again, I have no problem with snitching. I'll be the first person to snitch because I am the victim. You can't snitch where you were part, allegedly part owner of the company and you were literally leading all the sheeps to off of the cliff. Baby, where'd they do that there? But get this, right? If DJ Envy can provide the feds with enough information that they can get an ironclad case against Caesar and a huge conviction. And get this, Joe Budden let it be known that it's not 40 million like everybody thought. One, it's a hundred million, okay? It's a hundred million dollars and counting. This was huge. This wasn't some little dog and pony show where it was like, you know, money on the street. Got... No, 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 no. For uh, you to literally defraud a hundred million dollars, you need high powered lawyer offices. You need rich celebrity clients. You need more notaries, actuaries. You need home inspectors. You need mortgage lenders. There are so many people that go into running a real estate Ponzi scheme, especially considering that they were selling, right? The same pieces of property to multiple people. Y'all, listen, if Joe Button can be believed, and I 100% believe him because Joe Button said that he's the one, right? Go watch his podcast. He's the one that warned Envy that the block was hot. That's right. The feds reached out to Joe and people Joe know and was trying to get more information on Envy. Envy got mad because he felt like Joe was clowning him. Baby, Joe saved your butt, even though you still didn't do anything. That means that they've been watching Envy and Caesar for a while. The feds are notorious for offering you deals. First of all, his lawyer hasn't even confirmed he got a deal. He just said he will be cooperating. For him to get a deal, the two things are going to happen. He's going to have to offer something of value, which means those people that were involved in that 100 million, he's probably going to flip on a bunch of people, okay? Two, you have to offer somebody bigger than you are. Right now, listen, federal prosecutors, the U.S. attorneys, they love celebrities they love taking them down they need big names caesar's big in the tri-state area but like i said before in my other videos i've never heard of him before this but you know who i have heard of dj ponzi anyway y'all listen let's get listen let's get into this mess okay first of all let's talk about again wouldn't it be funny if the feds literally 
like, because here's the thing, you have to be super, super savvy with Fed deals because they will have you out there singing like you're on the last season of Oz, right? Remember, Adam, shout out to Adam BC. Y'all remember Oz on HBO, right? <laughs> My big cousins used to watch it. Ooh, that show was scary. Anyway, but if you cannot produce, if you cannot give, or if you are the big fish, baby, that deal will never be on the table. But I guess at this point, um, he doesn't have it. Now get this iHeart put up a listing saying they are looking for a, a DJ, radio, co host, whatever, right? The thing is, everybody's talking about liability. DJ Envy is trying to, in my opinion, my humble opinion, right? DJ Envy is trying to stay out of jail. But that don't mean that those civil trials aren't gonna hit and rip across his finances and his life and take them for everything they can. And if they can prove that iHeartRadio is responsible via vicarious liability and a few other things, baby, that just opened up a whole new bank because at the end of the day, iHeart turned a blind eye while he was engaging in activities, selling real estate products, selling financial products. Oh, the mortgage guy, the credit repair, selling businesses that he had ownership on while he was in the normal course of his duties. And iHeartRadio let it happen, baby. Again, iHeartRadio got some, they got some lawyers, they got some shooters, but that doesn't mean that they won't be successful. iHeartRadio is reading the writing on the wall. I know Envy is worried. He should be. Um, but at this point, I would be worried about staying out of jail. Anyway, listen, they literally posted a job listing <laughs> in search of a new co-host amid DJ Envy's real estate scandal. They know the odds are that one, he'll either go down with the criminal or because he was involved. There are videos everywhere. He holds seminars. He held himself out as he's a partner, but you also held yourself out that you made money. Okay. They are saying that um, uh, they're saying that it was an actual, uh, job posting. They are trying to do their best. The are even the Atlanta black stars says the downfall seems like it could be approaching quickly as the parent company of the breakfast club. iHeartMedia could possibly be looking for a new person to fill in envy. Of course they were. Of course they are. You dumb not to please. A week before a report emerged that federal officials paid a visit to iHeartRadio offices and retrieved electronic equipment as part of their ongoing investigation, iHeartMedia posted a job listing in search of a new co-host uh, for their popular syndicated morning show. The job description states the company seeks someone who creates, produces, and announces topics on the radio and social media, including music, entertainment, politics, news, sports, traffic, and other topics of interest for national syndicated morning show i.e. the breakfast club. Um, they said one of the responsibilities of the job is the applicant adheres to the all guidelines, policies, and procedures of the station. I heart media, the FCC, and all other federal, state, and local laws, including policies and procedures regarding indecency and obscenity. Again, the application is open. The compensation for position ranged from 130 to 330,000. How much do you think DJ Envy was getting paid? Okay, so listen, forget all that, right? Now, I do want to say that Channel 4 News in the New York area actually reported that it was a raid. All the news channels are saying it was a raid. The only person saying it's not a raid is the person that the alleged raid was conducted on, which is DJ Envy and his lawyer, Massimo. Now, let's talk about why, even though he might he might not go to jail in that Caesar, which, by the way, Caesar came out of jail. That's where they got this, this scam from, this Ponzi scheme come uh, DJ Envy said in his own words, Caesar learned it all in jail. Y'all was supposed to be reading the autobiography of Malcolm X and trying to see how to get our people free, right? Where's my hand? Instead, y'all up here thinking about how to scam. And you know what the funny thing is? If you go on Twitter, which is really sad, if you look at the pictures of the people that are in DJ Envy and Caesar Pena's real estate um, uh, uh, infomercials, right? It's actually really sad. It's nothing but black, brown faces that don't have a lot, that have been trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents, that literally have, you could tell, put their last or close to their last because they're so desperate to get out of their circumstances. They are working class 
black and brown people. That's it. So not only were you stealing and robbing from everyone, people on Madison Ave, people up in the Bronx, everybody you prayed on and sold this dream about how you're doing this and that, they all look like you, your sisters, your mothers, your brothers, your nephews. Do you think be sick? I will say, and I'll say it again, the way he is treated all his investors, his friends, same way he treated his wife. That man is disgusting. He has no moral character. He will do anything he needs to get what he wants out of the situation. Let's see if he can spin this. But let's get into why he might be liable. Y'all ready for this? Let's go.